Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mike from the Sherburn Public Library and we're here with another episode of Storytime. Do you remember what month it is? It's August and I have a poem about August. Lazy summer afternoons, walks along the beach, balmy evenings, cloudless skies, stars just out of reach, sailing on a quiet lake, hammocks in the shade, these are the simple treasures of which August days are made. Next, let's count our whales. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our whales usually big or small, usually big. And what color is my whale? It's blue. And look, he has a little book in his hand. Here we go, let's sing our song. One big, two big, three big whales, four big, five big, six big whales, seven big, eight big, nine big whales, Ten big, big blue whales. Great job. Okay, today our book is How to Hug a Pufferfish. Oh my goodness, the pufferfish. Look, what does he have? He has little spikes. Do you think those would be good to touch? Probably not. Let's read How to Hug a Pufferfish by Ellie Peterson. How to Hug a Pufferfish by Ellie Peterson. <gasps> so, you want to hug a pufferfish. Do you know what this character is? He's a lobster. And over here, we have an octopus. And that's our pufferfish. Look at, doesn't she look cute? Who could blame you? Those big old bubble eyes. Does the puffer fish look happy? Yeah. That gap tooth grin. Oh, do you know who this guy is? He's in the shape of a star. He's a starfish. That body skin like moldy bread with mustard. Could anything be cuter? There are so many reasons to give pufferfish a hug. It could be that pufferfish has just come from, just come back from a long trip. Oh, she went to the kelp forest. Maybe pufferfish had just won an award and you want to say congratulations. Oh look, she got an award for most creative. Or maybe pufferfish is your very best friend and you really want to show you show you care. There's only one teeny tiny thing to consider. Oh look. Who is that? That's the octopus. <gasps> oh, he's hugging her. How does pufferfish look? Do they look happy? Scared? They look a little scared to me. <gasps> Flump! Oh, what happened to pufferfish? He puffed up and they's got those little spiky things. Ouch! Never fear, pufferfish might welcome a hug from you under the right conditions. First, pufferfish does not like surprises. Flump! Oh no, look at Mr. Lobster! Whoosh. 
Do you like surprises? I do, but sometimes there are people that don't like surprises. <gasps> Ooh, loud sounds can startle pufferfish. Look, oh, the starfish, he's gonna blow through the shell. Ooh, how does pufferfish feel? <gasps> oh no, not happy. Don't tickle or poke pufferfish in place of a hug. Do you like to be tickled? Some people do, but some people don't. And if things go badly, give pufferfish some time to depuff before trying again. Just gotta wait, and pufferfish will deflate. <gasps> oh, look. The lobster is thinking of hugging other lobsters, and the starfish is thinking of hugging other starfishes, and the octopus is thinking of hugging some squids. Even if you love hugs, pufferfish might prefer something different. Pufferfish would like to see you coming. Oh, look. The lobster's telling Pufferfish he's coming. <gasps> Pufferfish would like to be asked for a hug first. Oh, look. It says, may I give you a hug? Check one. Yes or no. And you could just ask. You don't have to write a note. <gasps> Pufferfish would like your hug to be slow and gentle. Most people like their hugs slow and gentle. Sometimes we get squeezed too hard. Pufferfish might even prefer a hightail. Look at, he's hightailing with the lobster. Or a fin shake instead. Shaken fins with the octopus and starfish. And you never know, pufferfish might show you a different way to say, I love you. What did he do? Oh, look, he made an octopus out of an old flip-flop. He made a picture of himself, a picture of the starfish, or not a picture, but a creation of shells made it into starfish, and another thing, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it sort of looks like the lobster. What a cool way to say I love you. Now, if you want to hug a sea urchin, that's a whole nother story. Free hugs. Oh, look, the sea urchin has these little needle things, sort of like a porcupine on land. And that's the end of our story, How to Hug a Pufferfish, by Ellie Peterson. Okay, up next, we're going to talk about this letter. Do you know what this letter is? It's the letter H. Sing our alphabet song and find out where H comes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So can you think of something that begins with the letter H? Either a big H or a little H? Let's go look for the letter H. Let's go look for the letter H. Let's go look for the letter H. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up H's and putting them in the basket. Picking up H's and putting them in the basket. Picking up H's and putting them in the basket. Way down yonder in the library. 
Do you know what this is? It's a little hat. Hat begins with the letter H. Hat. Okay. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, uh, hot dog. Hot dog begins with the letter H. Hot. Hot. This is a little tricky, but it's a helmet. Football players wear this sort of helmet. Helmet goes on your head. Both helmet and head begin with the letter H. Oh, here's one. Nay! A horse. Horse begins with the letter H. It's a heart. You know where your heart is? Your heart begins with the letter H. And sometimes we hang up our clothes on a hanger. Hanger begins with the letter H. Hanger. And like we've talked about before, here's our big H or capital H. And then this is our lowercase h, little h. Two ways the h's look. Now I have some books that also have the letter h. For example, our book, How to Hug a Pufferfish. Oh look, Oh, actually I see two out in front and then one at the end. Let's count, ready? There's an h, how, hug, and then at the end of fish, there's an H there too. Let's count it again. One, two, three. Three H's. Wow. Ooh. This is Lego Super Heroes. Heroes begins with the letter H. Penguin trouble. We talked about this word before. Love you by heart. There's that letter H again. Here's Hoggy went a courtin'. Hoggy begins with the letter H. Ooh, here's a brand new book we just got in. Howard the Average Gecko. Howard begins with the letter H. Oh, here looks like a fun book. A hundred hungry monkeys. Uh-oh. Hungry begins with the letter H. Here's one of my favorite characters, Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. His begins with the letter H. His. Oh, and then we have the day the crayons came home. Home begins with the letter H. Home. Okay, so those are all books that have the letter H and you can come down to the library and check them out. Okay, we're at the end of story time, so it's time to be a teddy bear. Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, don't you sigh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wave goodbye. Have a great day and keep on reading.